ever since this morning, I've been on Twitter. I've been reading articles on Safari, um, especially on Twitter. I've been, I'm following like Tua and Gadget, many just various YouTube friends, and you know, all morning it's been nothing but uh, Mac OS 10 malware update, definitions bypassed, and everything. So I figured I'd make a video real quick and just go over this and what this really means for Mac OS 10 users. So. Uh, the first article I really came across was this one. I figured it would probably just be best for this video. Um, it states, Apple's malware detection updates circumvented in 8 hours. So what are malware detection updates? Uh, basically in OS 10 and w even in Windows through Windows Update, um, every once in a while, let's say on Windows, Microsoft will push out an update to its users and Windows Update, it will automatically download it and install it. So your computer is just that much more, I guess, less vulnerable to a virus. It's kind of just like the human body. Whenever you, your body gets infected with a virus, your immune system fights it off and then just think of it as a big old like warning, like wanted sign. And that dude's face gets posted all around town so that it doesn't come back. You know, your body builds up that immunity so you can't get that specific strain of that virus again. So this, that's kind of basically what this does. You know, once someone's infected, uh, the manufacturers like Apple, Microsoft, they push out an update uh, specifically for that update or, or specifically for that virus or that group of viruses, in this case malware, so that that particular strain can't be, it can't infect your system again. OS 10 will recognize it and just delete it like that no problems and same thing with windows but you know just like a regular virus like a human virus it can mutate so that your body doesn't recognize it and that's how you get sick again it's the same thing here now apple and windows do uh, pretty frequently update their definitions to um to cut back on the amount of viruses malware you know stuff like that that your system gets infected with but you know people are always hacking away and at their keyboards all day in their basements and somehow getting past these updates and infecting. Now, OS 10 is very well known for not having any viruses. Like, I shouldn't say any viruses, but many, many, like, drastically less viruses than Windows does. Um, personally, I don't have any sort of virus protection installed. I don't have any, like, Norton or anything installed. And I have absolutely never been infected. You know, I've, been, I've had um, OS 10 running since October, and I have never and I use it every day and I have never gotten a virus or anything but what this is is this new virus like, not really a virus but this particular strain of malware it, it occurs through Safari just like pretty much all of bugs that OS 10 gets is through Safari and I do admit Safari is my primary web browser so that's what raises concerns for me however like I said I've been using OS 10 for months and I've never had a problem but with this one um, I found a good comment here that kind of explains it that's not how what this is happening, whatever. At work, whatever, do you open Safari, go to a site, the screen gets taken over by a malware attack and a fake scan and it won't allow you to click cancel or navigate elsewhere. You can only accept the download or shut down Safari and resume your browsing. So right now my 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 Safari web browser, web browser, excuse me, would just be taken over and I'd have the choice to download or to quit the browser and that just screws whatever you were doing in Safari. So if I'm watching a YouTube video and I have another tab open and I go to somewhere and I get the screen, you have to shut down Safari and you'd have to open it again just to resume where you were. Pain in the butt. So and uh, here it if you click if you accept the download, it it'll download and here he found 18 downloads of the malware file in his downloads folder and I never accepted a download. So on so, some of these sites you go and the virus or the malware it just downloads without even asking you, without even alerting you but in OS 10 and even in Windows with the UAC protection your operating system will ask you, you know, do you want to run this? And for people that are, you know, like technology educated, they know what they're doing on a computer uh, most kids nowadays, I'd say, I, I, they'll, they'll hit cancel because, you know It'll come up, um, whatever name, dot .exe on Windows or whatever in OS 10. It'd be like, I don't know what that is, don't allow it to run. Because you should only run things that you know what they are. So, but, you know, people that have Macs, you know, a lot of older people, um, probably, not really, I wouldn't say a lot, but probably a decent amount of older people that, you know, just have a computer for web browsing, just go out and buy a Mac Mini or something. You know, they don't know that. They just want this big old warning to get out of their face. They just hit the blink and yes button. And, but... By that point, it's already installed in your system, and it's it, just, it causes destruction. That's where everything starts. But the main thing with this update is that um, Apple has been pushing out malware updates, or at least they're going to start. And here, I'll go into my uh, preferences real quick. Go to Software Update, and as you can see, Installed Software. I just installed one of these security updates yesterday, version 1.0. 
649 yesterday. Today is June 1st, so there's May 31st. I just installed it yesterday. And so the big thing with this is that someone wrote something that got past these these new definitions that Apple pushed out within eight hours. So that's just kind of like a slap in the face to Apple. You know, they're really big now on trying to um, to cut down on, on the amount of malware and everything on Mac OS X. But, you know, someone within eight hours wrote a new version of this and completely bypassed the update Apple just threw at us. So now Apple is going to have, you know, daily updates. So you'll be able to come up here to software update. And supposedly every, I'm still waiting for one today, but supposedly Apple will be updating you know, these definitions every day. And so everyone is being encouraged to have all these things checked in, um, in the preferences. I'm honestly, I haven't even looked for them. But um, right now I have it set to download updates automatically, not to install them. But I guess we'll be having like more updates in the future. So that's pretty much it for the short tech story. Basically, yes, there is viruses for and everything for OS X, but you just don't have to worry about it as much as Windows. Because for every, and I mean, this is the thing. Apple, this happens once to Apple, and it's like huge news. But this happens every day on Windows. So that just shows you the difference here. Like whenever something malware related or virus related happens for OS X, it's like, wow, someone actually got through and there's articles all over the internet. But if someone wrote an article for every virus or malware that got through on Windows, you'd be seeing thousands of these every single day. So that's just the point I'm trying to make is that yes, you know, Mac OS X isn't invincible. There are viruses, there is malware. Some things might cause you to have to do a complete restore, but it's just nowhere near as, as much as Windows. And so basically, if you are a Mac user, I'm going to try to stay away from Safari for the next couple of days. I might just switch over to using Chrome or even Firefox. They're both very good browsers. However, I just like the integration of OS with OS X with Safari. So, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this malware thing, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also, check out iTechCity.org and follow iTechCity on Twitter at iTechCity. And uh, like I said, just keep your eyes out uh, if you have any software updates. Like, I still don't. So... Um, yeah, just guys, keep your keep your eyes out on your software update. Any new definitions Apple comes out with, go ahead and install those. And I guess just be careful. Thanks for watching.